When writing a five paragraph essay, we want to conclude with a conclusion paragraph. Now in the introduction paragraph, we talked about moving from the general to the specific, starting with a hook, providing some kind of background information, leading to a more specific idea that is the thesis statement. With the conclusion paragraph, we want to do the opposite. We want to begin and reintroduce the thesis statement and then move to the general. So the very first sentence of our conclusion paragraph will be the restated, reworded thesis statement, essentially saying the same thing, but in different words, presenting the general idea of the entire essay. After the one sentence thesis statement, then we'll have three to four, maybe five sentences that build or discuss the significance, the relevance, the big idea that relates to the thesis statement. Some questions to consider when you're writing these three sentences, these three to five sentences, after you've restated the thesis statement. When you're stating the significance, think of making connections to other contexts. Think of how this might relate maybe in the future. Think of future context where this, this idea is important, that's significant. But you're basically making general conclusions and stating specific ideas that relate to maybe the problem itself, maybe reintroducing the problem that you brought up in the introduction paragraph. But again, you're making connections in other contexts that have not been already mentioned. The last thing you'll need to do when you're writing your conclusion paragraph will be a closing statement. Closing statement is just a final way to conclude your essay. Um, some writers will include a famous quote, much like a fam famous quote can be used to uh, hook the audience. A famous quote could also be used to cl uh, close the essay or to conclude the paragraph. So, Again, we want to restate, reintroduce the thesis statement, reword it. Um, basically, say the same thing that you say, stated in, at the end of the introduction paragraph and present it again in the conclusion paragraph. We need to include the significance. Think of the problem statement and the significance that you included at the end of that problem statement. Think of the target audience. Think of... Uh, what you're trying to do with the essay, with your thesis. What are you, are you trying to persuade someone to think differently or to take action? And we want to conclude with a, some kind of closing statement. Now, one thing to keep in mind here in the conclusion paragraph, and that is to avoid introducing anything new. Make sure that you avoid any, um, any citations. Okay, so for our five paragraph essay, we'll need to include at least five citations overall. We need to have at least one citation in each of the three body paragraphs as well as the introduction paragraph, but we should not include any citations in the conclusion paragraph.